We're walking through the magical forest of Beaverton. Wait, no we're not. <laughs> we're just in Beaverton, Oregon. We're gonna get into five pros and five cons of what it's like to live here in Beaverton, Oregon. Let's get into it. I'm Aaron Cullen, a local real estate agent here in Portland, Oregon. And this is Brianna Cullen. And we're here in Beaverton, Oregon today. We're taking you through the five pros and cons of living in Beaverton, Oregon. Now, if you're thinking of moving to Portland, chances are you've probably heard of Beaverton. Now we're gonna get into all those reasons and cover that. But just to give you a quick overview, Beaverton is just to the west of Portland and that close proximity is one of the main attractions and having a huge company like Nike World Headquartered right here. All right, should we get into it? Which brings me to our first pro, jobs. There are a lot of high quality employers right here in Beaverton. It's part of what is considered the Silicon Forest, which is Portland's version of a high tech startup culture. There's Nike, as Aaron mentioned, Adidas is here in Beaverton. Bordering Beaverton is Hillsboro, which is where Intel, a huge local employer, is located. Mm -hmm. And a number of other, US Bank, I believe, is mm -hmm. here, a number of other employers. So this is a great area for jobs. A lot of people that live in Beaverton are really here for the employers, the jobs, and the proximity to Portland. That brings us to our first con, which is... Traffic. Traffic, the dreaded traffic. <laughs> now, rush hour is a real thing here from Beaverton if you're going into downtown or really anywhere through the main arteries through Beaverton. You know, there's a lot of traffic lights. You know, this is a big suburban area. All right, don't mind the roof that they're putting on right behind us. <laughs> We're in a very like 90s, early 2000s suburb, which these are 30 year old roofs, right? Yep. Yep. It's about time for a new roof. That's right. There is a lot of traffic here in Beaverton, especially during rush hour. If you're going to downtown, or, you know, we're back out of downtown during those rush hour times, it can take you know up to 30 minutes when it's really only a five to 10 mile drive. And within the city too, you know, there's 100,000 residents here, you know, which is a lot. And Beaverton is a big area, but you know, that's a lot of stoplights. That's a lot of internal traffic, you know, getting around during those rush hour times. So that is something that I do hear a lot from the residents that they feel like, you know, it has gotten more crowded over the last, you know, several years. Our nanny lives in Beaverton and she definitely, you know, texts me every few mornings and says like, oh, I'm running five minutes late. I got caught in traffic. So like, it's a yeah. real thing. Yeah. And I would say this neighborhood that we're in is in the southwest part of Beaverton and there's a little more space out here. It's so you might not be thinking this looks very high density, but as you get closer, as you get further north and closer to Portland and more into central Beaverton, you know, there's a more high density, busier vibe. I'm looking around, yeah. like thinking, yeah. you're thinking traffic. Yeah, there's nobody here. <laughs> but you know, this gives you, you know, it's mainly on the main roads, right? You're not in, in the suburb areas. It's not gonna be as high traffic area. Okay, so the, the con being traffic, I would say that is, at least somewhat offset by a pro public transportation. So as far as the suburbs go, Beaverton probably has the best access to public transportation, light rail, bus system. And so it is possible to um, manage your commute with public transportation. Beaverton actually has the largest hub for the light rail here in Portland because there are so many different lines going through Beaverton to downtown. So. That really is a great option if you want to take the public transportation, if you want to take the rail or even the bus. I'm going to throw in a surprise con. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is it? So this is not necessarily specific to Beaverton, but specific to Portland and the Northwest, which can be the weather. Like we just got to get that out there. It's June 14th or 15th today, and we've got some major June gloom. It's cold. We've had a really, really rainy spring, the rainiest spring in 80 years. 
Um, but even in general, it's, you know, it's gray and rainy here in the late fall, winter, and early spring. That's true. And this is the rainiest season we've had in like 80 years since 1940s. So it is an exception, but weather is going to have it all over Portland. Watch a different video and it'll be a beautiful blue sky day and I'll be like, weather, it's a, <laughs> it's a pro, but today it feels like a con. And it depends where you're moving from. Yes. Could be a hundred degrees. Next pro, schools. Beaverton ranks in the top school districts for the state of Oregon. They have great schools. It's in the top 93% of schools for Oregon. Beaverton itself has a couple of really great top rated high schools. I think it has the top rated high school in the state for STEM. It's yep. a magnet school, which makes a lot of sense. Again, going back to all of the tech employers and really just the um, emphasis and investment on technology in this area. Yeah, Beaverton to me just has a very, you know, if you if you have a tech job, you know, it very you very well could live in Beaverton. So again, having all those great schools in this area is one of the reasons this is a family friendly area. You can just tell by the neighborhood that we're walking through. Yeah. There's definitely a family vibe here. It's cul-de-sacs, it's safe. I think, you know, people are feel good like letting their kids out, riding their bikes uh, in Beaverton. It also has a lot of proximity to family-friendly things. So on the north side of Beaverton, you're close to the zoo and um, the Japanese Botanical Gardens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, creating that like family lifestyle here. Yeah, yeah, and that's a pro topic. It's close to a lot of city amenities. All those that Bride just mentioned, plus your the location is really close to you got the ocean, you know, an hour and a half to the west. You've got the mountains, you know, an hour and a half to the east. You know, you've got the Columbia River, you know, less than an hour away. And all kinds of berry picking, all those kinds of things are really close to here. Plus Beaverton also has a ton of parks, uh, neighborhood parks all throughout the different neighborhoods you know, where all the kids go to. Um, plus they have a great aquatic center, a great athletic club. I mean, movie theaters. I mean, there's there's a lot of great little shopping areas in Beaverton, but one of the cons, there's not a big centralized, like main street with tons of shopping, a place that you would just go and walk for blocks of shopping. For that, you gotta go to downtown Portland, to the Pearl District or Knob Hill area. Yeah, there is an old town, but it's not, like a hub of activity. It's not a gentrified uh, downtown area with like shops, restaurants where people are really congregating. Yeah, so that definitely is one of the cons, but you know what, I mean, you're in a suburb area, so it's not really to be expected because you have all those amenities really close by in downtown Portland. That's only five to 10 miles away. So let me ask you, honey, I think there's a real mix of neighborhoods and houses in Beaverton, but in general, what kind of home price are we looking at? Yeah, so like in the neighborhood we're in right now in Southwest Beaverton, most of these homes were built in 2000 and up, and these homes are around 700s to 600s and up, you know, depending on the size and all that. Uh, you know, if you want a one story, it's more in the 600s. Uh, two-story in the 700s on up. So it's a very affordable, good prices. And that's one of the things that's attractive about Beaverton compared to Portland is it is more affordable, especially if you look at the, you know, Portland Heights and all those areas that are closer to downtown Portland. If you wanna be in one of those neighborhoods in Portland, they can be a lot more expensive. And here you can get a little bit bigger yard, a little bit newer house and for less money. Yeah, I would say one con to that and the overall suburban feeling is that not a lot of walkability. So especially out here in some of these like bigger subdivisions, there's no walking to a commercial area. Um, it's very separate residential. And mm -hmm. compared to those more expensive neighborhoods in Portland, it doesn't have like some of that old charm that some of the older 
city neighborhoods in Portland have with like really beautiful architecture, older craftsman style homes, yeah. just a more um, stylized feeling. This is much more to me like Americana suburban that's area. Right. That's right. And if that's what you're looking for, Beaverton could be a great option, especially Southwest Beaverton. I really like this area. Uh, and one of the other pros that we're gonna get into is one of the newer shopping center areas, Progress Ridge. That shopping area is really cool. They've got a bowling alley with tons of TVs for watching sports. They've got a movie theater. They've got lots of great restaurants. French bakery French and bakery, brewery. La Provence, yeah, brewery. And they've got a reservoir right there that they stock with fish for fishing. You know, so that's a great area and you could live in one of the neighborhoods right around there. You know, we're only about a five minute car ride from there right now in this neighborhood. One of the cons to the housing in Beaverton is there are a lot of older homes as well. And I'm talking uh, 1960s era, 70s era, 80s era, 90s. Most of the housing stock kind of starts, you know, from the 60s on up to in Beaverton. There's not a ton of brand new building right now, except for in that Southwest part where we're at right now. And we'll take you by some of that area that they're building there. And they're actually building hundreds of new homes. Uh, um, they're actually building hundreds of new homes right there on the edge of Beaverton. So if you are wanting new construction, they are building new homes in that little area right there. But most of Beaverton is already built out. And just a little insight on the pricing of the homes, they start really those 1960s ranch style homes that are like three ones or three twos. They kind of start at around the high 400s into the 500s. And most of the housing stock in general in Beaverton, your average is probably gonna be around the, the 600,000 mark. But you can get a house in the 500s, um, but most of it's gonna be kind of in that 600,000 range. So that's really right on the median for the Portland Metro, right? Beaverton's right. kind of like average. Absol absolutely. Yeah, the median for the Portland Metro right now is about 570. So it definitely falls in line right there. I think one other con to mention is there's not really any nightlife here. So this is a suburb. It's a, you know, family community. If you want to be out having a drink or at a hip restaurant late into the evening, you really need to go down into Portland. Yeah, yeah. And that just goes with Portland suburbs in general. There's not a lot of nightlife in the suburbs uh, here and probably in most of America, <laughs> in the places that we've lived. So you gotta go to Portland. And that's one of the cool things though about living in Beaverton, downtown is very, very close uh, to Beaverton. A lot of the other suburbs, if you go to Hillsboro, you're gonna be even further out, a little bit further drive. So you, it, you know, makes it a little bit less desirable to maybe go drive into Portland, you know, for, for the night to go to a bar or just to get some dinner. So, so I think that's one of the really attractive things about Beaverton is its close proximity to downtown and so many other different things that you don't have to have that nightlife here. But if you're moving to Beaverton for the nightlife, <laughs> That's a con. Think again. Don't do it. When you really take those pros and cons on the balance and you think about the great employers, the great schools, the housing prices, the proximity to Portland, the location being on the west side with all the greenery, the parks, being that much closer to the beach over here on the west side, I can see why, you know, Beaverton really does have a lot to offer. Yeah. No, it really does. I mean, I mean, look at these views right here. I mean, you can, it's very hilly, it's very green. There's lots of, lots of, there's lots of, there's lots of evergreen trees here. I mean, it's really beautiful city. It's safe. It's quiet. It's quiet. Beaverton's way high on my list of favorite suburbs to live in for Portland. Definitely in the top five. Absolutely. I think if you're interested in Portland and curious about Beaverton, it's definitely worth coming out for a visit and reach out to Aaron. He's happy to show you around and then also talk about what other suburbs might rank up there. If you're thinking about Beaverton, what other areas you might also want to take a look at that have some of the same attributes. If you're thinking about moving to Beaverton, Oregon, go ahead and give me a call or shoot me an email. I'd be happy to talk about it with you. All right. See you on the next one.